Kernicterus is a serious problem where otherwise normal children can suffer lifelong neurologic consequences. It shouldn't happen. This is a condition that actually is totally preventable if children or infants when, that have done this can be identified and then treated appropriately. I always say this, I, I don't think the human language can do a very good job of explaining the depth of disability that these kids live with. No one can get connectors. Connectors basically ruins your life. And it's heartbreaking. I mean, we have children here who are not mentally retarded. They're not cognitively impaired by this disease at all. And yet they're locked in bodies that just don't work. And they're going to lead very, very challenging lives. It's like if you're to tie your hands, your feet together, put cotton in your ears, gag your mouth, and then live your life. That's sort of what Krista faces each day. 60% of newborns do have some level of jaundice. Uh, the jaundice is, is a, uh, an expression of an elevated bilirubin level, and bilirubin in newborns uh, is, is a toxin and should be recognized as such. Let moms and dads know that their babies can be hurt by jaundice. It's not like a rash. It's not like a common cold. This, this has injured our kids permanently. The fact that, uh, that infants are not routinely tested uh, for this toxin uh, is difficult to understand, especially when one recognizes that the test is available, uh, relatively easy to perform, and inexpensive. This is something that we ought to be able to avoid. And we do have the capability of avoiding that by screening babies before they go home from the hospital. We know, we know about jaundice. We know what causes chronicteris. And we know that if we get the right tests and the right treatments, we can prevent this. I think the most important thing to remember behind this is these are innocent children. These children had just as much chance as everyone else. And we're not given that opportunity. And now I watched my daughter and my son, who had the same blood compatibility. One got a test, one didn't and I watched them play side by side with two incredibly different futures. This is an emergency. Babies are being injured. And you know, while we're sitting here talking about this, it's happening again. I gave a talk to the Child Neurology Society, and this is, these are the pediatricians who are neurologists like myself. And I asked for a show of hands of how many had seen a kernicterus. This was in October 2002. And almost every hand went up in the audience. So within a very short period of time, the moms and the doctors were actually connecting the dots and recognizing that this wasn't just, th these weren't outliers in the healthcare system, this was a major hole in the safety net in healthcare. It's chilling to experience the healthcare system not reacting quickly to this, not implementing a universal um, screen. It, it, it's confusing and really disappointing. But that's why PIC has chosen to partner with the system to, to, to fast track change. Children who are discharged from the nursery should all have a bilirubin level taken at the time of discharge to establish whether they are at risk or not. There is absolutely no reason why this is not universally practiced in the U.S. to ensure that every newborn baby has a safe experience with newborn jaundice. We're of the opinion that because kernicterus is a preventable disorder, that one case is one case too many. One case of kernicterus is one too many. We can prevent them all. Prevent this. Two words, prevent this.